When I went to, oh my goodness, let me just go straight in. <laughs> when, I, when I went to my first support group meeting, I recognized that I wasn't alone and that there were other people who were like me who were engaging their own mental health recovery. And they welcomed me in with open arms and there was no pretense. I was like, wow, I have a place that's mine that I can attend and I don't have to feel like I have to walk this journey out by myself anymore. Are people judging me or being misunderstood? I, I finally felt understood. So I joined the Young Adult Support Group and was just like so open about who they are and so welcome and accepting. And I finally found a group where I felt seen and heard and where I felt capable of like exploring myself and encouraged to really um, share what was going on in my life. And I mean, <laughs> that group got me through a lot. I'm very glad to see that NAMI focuses on reaching out to diverse communities in a culturally humble, culturally competent, and linguistically appropriate way, because this is very important to our community. So with NAMI, I've gotten involved by becoming a facilitator for an MA in Español, for their fam uh, family support group and the connections group, because I think the Latin community really needs more resources when it comes to learning about mental illness and mental health. And I think they do a great job of bringing that awareness to these communities. All my life, I've never had access to a support group. It's not common. It's, I've never seen something like this before. So this is like my first time having a support group where you have like minds, where you have people where you can freely pour out your mind, freely you know, be vulnerable and say, okay, this is what I'm facing. And you have people who would not stigmatize you, people who would not talk down at you. You know, having that space of people who would listen, where you can share, it's awesome. Being in a support group for veterans and leading it, being a veteran, it's nothing like that. Because we are such a close-knit community. Where else can you go to? Who else can you go to to talk about surviving being shot by a sniper other than another veteran. To have somebody in front of you who understands what you're going through and not only understand, but can talk to you about their experience, it's counseling on both ends. And that's what, that's what NAMI is all about, that lived experience to be that support system for other people. We have a support group for both our, our loved ones. It's called NAMI Connections, a peer-led, as well as for caregivers. And I leave that support group every week inspired by watching the way people are getting through all of this. When I came to NAMI, found a family in NAMI, in the support group where I learned so much. And I've been involved ever since, um, now trying to give back and volunteering myself. When I first started down my journey of treating my substance abuse and disorders and, and mental health issues, I sat quietly in the room. I sat in the back, didn't want to talk to anybody until I got to a NAMI Connections group. I sat down in that Connections group and I felt safe. I felt secure, I felt accepted, and I felt like I was with family and friends. And I finally started opening up and speaking and it makes me want to cry because that's so important to have that safe space where you can discuss all these things that you have to be a strong man and deal with, but you can come into the safe space and get it off your chest. And it's not eaten away. It's not taken home to the family. And that's, you can't put a price on that.